Hello team, welcome to my session on Coffee with Prab and today we're going to discuss about CIA Security Triad which is called as a Confidentiality, Integrity, Availability. This topic is somehow covered in CISSP, CISA, CSUM, CCSP, Security Plus. Okay, so major certification cover, Information Security Certification cover CIA Triad. So I thought this year I will make more topic based questions so which give you better visibility about the topics. If you're new to my YouTube channel, click on the bell icon and subscribe options so that you should not miss my future video. My name is Prab Nair. For more information, you can refer my LinkedIn profile. So without wasting a time, let's start with the first part. Which of the following principles supports confidentiality? Confidentiality, integrity, availability, these are the three important components we have for information security. If you see my previous video where I have covered about confidentiality, integrity, availability. So protection against unauthorized disclosure is confidentiality. Protection against unauthorized modification is integrity. Data must be available whenever it required is called as availability. So here if they're talking about following principle, it means out of four, which support confidentiality. So if you go by dual control, by dual control, we basically implement by which we achieve the integrity. The best example is bank locker. So we bank is basically issue one key to the consumer and one key with the bank manager. So any point of time I need to operate a locker as a consumer, I have to go with the bank manager in my locker area to operate the locker. And this gives the assurance to the consumer that okay, in his absence, no one can going to operate the locker. It also gives the assurance to the bank manager in his absence, consumer cannot operate a locker. So no one can challenge about this fraud. That is why dual control used to achieve the integrity. Separation duty, which is a B option, where one person will not perform end-to-end -end transaction. Because if one person do end-to-end -end transaction, there is a possibility he can commit a fraud. And this is basically introduced to maintain the <coughs> integrity of the process. And the third part is called as a redundancy control. Redundancy means that two components. So we have a group of components which is basically work together to provide the availability of the services. If one component is down from another component, we can able to provide the services. So that is why redundancy is basically a con redundancy control is used to achieve the availability. The only option is basically left is A, which is called as a need to know. Definitely need to know is a principle by which we achieve the confidentiality. The best example of the need to know is when you share the Google Drive link, Okay, so if I share the Google Drive link with the three people, okay, so if the fourth person try to access the link, he will or she will get an error that this link or this drive is restricted. And if the person click on the link, I will receive a notification that, okay, this person has requested for the drive. So until unless I don't review his need, I will not give him access. So this is how based on a need to know, I'm able to restrict the user to a specific information. So need to know principle of lease privilege encryption these are basically principle to support the confidentiality also access control let's move to the next coffee shot okay so which are the following principle support confidentiality again the question but this time options are changed dual control we have covered redundancy we have covered which is used to achieve the availability separation of duty where group of people work together to commit the transactions and all that. The bank is the best example where one person will sign the bill, one person will process the check and one person will make the payment. Same thing in the companies also. We have a payment systems or we have a payment department or account department. One is approve the bill, one is sign the bill and one is basically making the payment. So by this way, three people are working together to complete one transaction. So by this way, one person will not commit any transaction. And by this way, he will not do any kind of or she will not do any kind of a fraud. So only option is basically left is A, principle of least privilege. Principle of least privilege restrict the user to a particular activity to perform in the organization based on his job and duty, which also include the access of the file. That is why we're going with the answer A, principle of least privilege. So let's move to the next coffee shot. Which of the following principles support integrity integrity basically all about protecting the data against the unauthorized modification integrity reflecting about the correctness of a data need to know used to achieve the confidentiality encryption used to achieve the confidentiality redundancy used to achieve the availability so only option is left is dual control so we have a person one we have a person two the presence of these two people on the same time to 
operate a locker that principle is called as a integrity because without person 2 person 1 cannot able to operate the transaction and without person 1 person 2 will not able to operate any transaction so in this case the only option which is left for integrity reference is the answer is dual control without okay so without wasting time we can move to the next coffee shot so again which of the following principles support integrity need to know we have already discussed so this is the google drive link we have i shared with my authorized user the link of the drive but when i shared this link with the unauthorized people or accidentally they got access to this drive example so there is a possibility there is a possibility they click on the link so when they click on the link i receive a request request for access so i will review their need and according to that i will approve the access but the question here are talking about integrity so need to know escalate this is also remove this is also remove the only option close is separation of a duty where person one is basically sign the bill person two approve the bill and person three process the payment so person one has a dependency on person two and person three to complete the transaction if one person doing everything there is a possibility he can commit a fraud and fraud is opposite of integrity i want to maintain the integrity in the processes that is why the answer is b let's move to the next coffee shot okay so what is the most important measure that security professionals should use to ensure confidentiality of information so keyword here is most important that is the first keyword most mean more often and major mean criteria that security professional should use to ensure confidentiality of information option a value of control option b value of process option c data classification and option d data privacy see data privacy is a kind of a data definitely that is also we need to consider when we're trying to protect the confidentiality or maintain the confidentiality of the data because privacy and secrecy two things are there privacy and secrecy privacy is deal with the individual example rphi and all that and secrecy is basically deal with the uh, company that's why you heard about top secret secret and all that so only considering data privacy is not important okay because data privacy is a type of data value of control based see value of control is an investment you're doing question talking on most important measure the security profession should use to ensure confidentiality to maintain confidentiality we need a value of control but that is not a criteria process is also important but most important factor is data classification so we classify the data because every data should not have a same level of value same level of security so with the help of data classification we analyze the value of the data we organize them in a category of important non-important and then we basically apply the necessary control that is why the most important part is called as a data confidentiality let's move to the next coffee shot what should a security professional know when they are thinking about how to build a network or how to manage a system here the question specifically talking about security professional so definitely he talk about the security aspects option a confidentiality integrity availability which is a ci tried confidentiality and availability but integrity is missing confidentiality integrity authenticity but availability is missing and d integrity and availability whenever we're talking about people process technology which is a information system from an information security professional point of view we need to ensure the resources must be available to the authorized user which is used for the confidentiality it must be remain accurate that is the integrity and it must be available whenever it required so as an information security professional the most important thing is cia that's why the answer is a let's move to the next coffee shot prab handles system in his store and keep the backup of all system file he generate hashes hash value which is a fixed value of the data 
for this file daily and compare them to the hashes generated for the same file the previous day. It means yesterday backup and today backup. Which of the following use case is the most supporting here? It means when we're taking a hashes or comparing hashes, what we're trying to achieve? Secrecy? Definitely not a secrecy because secrecy is all about protection against unauthorized modification or protection against unauthorized disclosure. So that is not a parameter here because secrecy is more from a confidentiality point of view. Here we're talking about the comparison of previous hash and new hash. Encryption support is removed. Availability of assistance is removed because the question talking about hashes. Answer is basically B, promoting a trustworthiness because another, another name of promoting trustworthiness is the integrity. Why I'm telling you, see, we're taking a backup. Question is not talking about backup parameters. The question talking about backup hashes. Hash is basically representing the fixed state of data. By the hash, we basically verify the integrity of the backups. When we're generating a backup, we're generating a fixed value of the hash. So if I am A and this is B, I'm sending him backup file along with that I'm sending him hash value. And I told B, hey B, when you download the data or download the backup, scan the data, check the hash and compare against the hash which I sent to you. If both hash is basically same, it means this is the same data I sent to you. Okay, so you receive the correct data. So by the hashing, we can able to promote the correctness of a data, trustworthiness of a data. And this question is also talking about the same thing. That is why I'm going with the answer B for beta, promote the trustworthiness. This is uh, the small session which I plan. And if you find this session useful, do share in your network and click on the bell icon and subscribe button to make sure you should not miss my future videos in a similar format. Three important things. I want uh, one example of confidentiality, one example of integrity, one example of availability in the comment box. Okay. And what is the next video you want me to create? Do let me know. Thank you for watching my video. Bye.